The time has come for the drivers to put all they've learned this weekend into reality. It's time for the Italian Grand Prix. Pole position can only be secured by one driver, and the lucky gentleman goes by the name of Nico Rosberg this weekend. You wouldn't bet against the German driver pressing his Mercedes to victory today. He's definitely going to be difficult to beat today, but anything can happen, so we'll have to keep a close eye on how this unfolds over the course of the race. One of the new kids on the block this season is Felipe Nasser. The young Brazilian has been adjusting to F1 life this year with Sauber. How do you think he's fared? He started well. Obviously, he had that time at Williams last year as their test driver, which looks like it's definitely helped. It's meant he's been able to bring that experience with him to Sauber and hit the ground running. What is up, guys? Jeffrey Gaming here. Welcome back to my F1 2015 career mode as Pastor Maldonado. We're at Monza for the Italian Grand Prix. First of all, I'd like to apologise because somehow I don't have any qualifying footage, but I put the Lotus on the front row of the grid and we are in second place so this should be a pretty awesome race but there's actually a glitch um, I'll explain that more in a second but we'll get to the start 3 lights, 4 lights, 5 and away we go and we're not moving at all because the glitch has kicked in and absolutely everyone is flying past us just like to explain you can look at my tyres right there my rear tyres are already orange I did this race, I did about five or six laps and then had to go off and do something else. So I just turned the Xbox off and for some reason I've restarted the race and my tyres are totally worn. So I'm going to have to make a huge adjustment to my strategy for this race. So that has been an additional factor to what is already a tough Grand Prix, but I do have an amazing setup for this. So much straight line speed, but I'm struggling in these early stages, starting on the worn tyres. I actually only did one lap in qualifying as well. And Hulkenberg's up my inside <coughs> into Lesmo 1. He's got the inside line, so we should get the move done. Let's have a look. He goes over the curve. What kind of line is that, Hulkenberg? That's given me a fantastic opportunity to come back at him. And let's just uh, show off this straight line speed a lot more than the Force India. And we should be retaining our sixth place. Yes, we do. Into Ascari. So, that's been a very interesting start. And uh, just to prove a point of how slow I was off the line. And you know how slow you are off the line when you have no traction control on. But look at that. You can see on the new indicators after the patch. There we go. Hamilton start. He goes to the right for some reason and just still flies past me. And let's see if anything happens to him at the start. I did actually make a little bit of contact with him. I tried to break as late as possible. Yes, yeah, slight contact, but yeah, didn't really affect anyone. It was actually a really clean start from everyone. So much smoke from my rear tyres. Vettel flies past me as well. And yeah, nothing really happened in the first chicane, apart from that slight contact with Hamilton. Um, because yeah, it's usually a place for a lot of incidents, but not this time. But uh, you can see Hulkenberg here coming at me on the first lap out of the second chicane. And it's a pretty good move. we respecting each other's space, side by side, wheel to wheel racing. He takes an awful line here, gives him an awful run through here. And then onto the DRS straight. I get a much better run using the slipstream and that fantastic setup. And you can see from Massa behind just how easy it was to get past but look at this move from Grosjean up the inside of Massa what a move this is if he can make it stick with their side by side through Ascari and he gets the move done no contact great move from Roman I taught him that in practice so on to lap three I've decided it's time to pitch my tires are absolutely shot going into the lean mix Hulkenberg's gonna get past me I've been trying to hold him up as much as possible is this is really making the top five out of reach of me but I think on genuine pace and a proper strategy without this glitch, I could have been fighting possibly for a podium, definitely with the Ferraris. And you can see behind Massa and Grosjean are fighting. I'm trying to block Massa, trying to help Grosjean out, but I'm going into the pits. I've had enough of this. These tyres are gone, and I'm going to go into the prime tyres. I'm not sure if I can do option prime options, so I've got to go for prime here just to see how long they actually last for. Let's get a good stop, guys. 2.3, nice one. We are down into last place, but we are going to get a major undercut, so we should come flying through the field uh, as the uh, cars ahead make their first pit stops. Not sure if they're going to do one or two. We'll have to wait what happens. But yeah, the prime tyres, they're not the worst, but uh, I think a one stop was realistic around this track. It usually is. I think it tends to be one stop in real life as well. 
but we really did close up on the back of the van. I've got to drive the Manor sometime just to see how slow it is because Mary is making it look like a horrific car, no grip at all, easy overtake right here, up into 18. And soon we will be closing in on his teammate Will Stevens. So that easy move out the way, now to get Stevens. Onto the DRS straight, we'll begin DRS, so this should be incredibly, incredibly easy. And yes it is, flying past. Let's go and attack the big boys. Well, there's one in a McLaren, he's not much of a threat. So this, this is embarrassing for the McLaren Honda. No DRS, I was that far behind. And I still absolutely breeze past the McLaren. That's shocking, it really is. And it's sad to see Alonso get breezed past like that. Ahead is his teammate Button, who is side by side with Kvyat into the chicane. That should allow me to easily close up, I probably would have anyway. And yeah, DRS once again. Gonna get past the McLaren, wonder if we can get two cars. I mean, nah, Kvyat's probably too far ahead, so up into ninth. There's quite a few of other cars have pitted. They were like in the lower top ten. But we car carry on here, Kvyat gets a decent run, but I think our straight line speed and the slipstream should get us past, possibly before Parabolica. That means Kvyat will get DRS. I'm not sure, yeah, he got the activation point. But he didn't threaten me after that, and I was up into 10th, uh, into 8th even. So, lap 12, and you can see all the one stoppers are in the pits right now, so it's going to be very interesting to see why I end up. There's Rosberg, I'm ahead of Rosberg. So I've got an extra pit stop to make, but I'm right in the fight for the lead, really. And look at that lockup. Had to avoid Bottas. So close to hitting the back of him. He distracted me slightly. But yeah, that was a huge lockup and probably a good job that uh, flat spots aren't in this game. Otherwise, my tyres would be gone and could possibly break my suspension or anything. But Bottas's tyres aren't up to the temperature, so this gives me a great opportunity to get into the podium places. It's a shame I'm not genuinely fighting for these places, but... Might as well make the most of it, driving around in third. And now on lap 15, I've been on these tyres for 12 laps and they're not feeling too great. So Bottas came back at me and with the aid of DRS, goes up my, my inside. I didn't really fight it too much because I thought he's probably going to speed away now. But for some reason I did. Well, I know the reason. It's my straight line speed. I keep saying it in this video, but it's just amazing this setup. Not too shabby in the uh, middle sector either, so we're back past Bottas, and he didn't catch up to me in the DRS zone on the start finish rate either. But on to lap 16, he is really closing in on me. Let's see if we can get past with DRS, compare his straight line speed with DRS compared to my normal one. Yes, he's quicker, but we're going to use his slipstream to try and get back past him, we're breaking very late. And now we didn't have the grip or the confidence on the brakes. And Bottas is through, slight contact, he's knocked us across the track a little bit and Vettel's going to get us here. He got a great run out of the chicane and obviously the contact with Bottas helped him out there. But Rosberg hasn't got past and I'm definitely going to be holding up Rosberg probably until the DRS straight. And he did actually overtake me as I struggled all over the track there. Yeah, he did overtake me after Ascari and then I'm going into the pits. Made the tyres last and now... A number of laps, 10 laps on the option tyres, so it's looking pretty decent for some good points here. Ricardo has just gone past us, so we should easily catch up really on fresh tyres, the quicker tyres, and a better setup. And in terms of straight line speed, obviously, we're going to breeze past the Red Bull power unit, and we did catch up on lap 19. This seems to be where I'm overtaking most cars, DRS. And is this going to be an easy overtake? Yes it is. The Renault power unit is pretty useless. And we stream past him. Up into 7th. The gap to Massa is 12 seconds. So that could be pretty tricky to uh, close down. But uh, yeah. Up to 7th being a decent recovery after that glitch. And Rosberg actually pitted for some reason. Not sure at all. And Massa was slow. There's a really slow car ahead with him. It's Roberto Mary. Not sure if the made contact. And he stopped. What's going on? His car's in the air. What is Roberto doing? Just stopping in Parabolica. That's absolutely crazy driving. And now Ricardo's on my tail. Massa's gone into the pit. He's got a puncture from uh, my sources in my ear. Let's say that. But I did get DRS from Mary. Ricardo couldn't get past me. But that was an absolutely crazy incident. What is Mary doing? We'll have to see from the replay cameras of what the hell went on there. So first of all, with Felipe, he must... I'm pretty sure he got a puncture from that. 
and they're going as slow as each other side by side. And we'll just see what Mary did. He went into parabolic and just stopped. I, d I don't know what to say about that. You'll see the replay again. His back end is in the air. I don't know how my car has, has no damage at all. Great damage system, Codemasters, by the way. But that, that moment was just insane. And sadly, in terms of entertainment, that was it for the race. Rosberg, who pitted, went on to the prime tyres. It's like his conservative tyre choice in Hungary in real life. So, I think if he put the option tyres, he definitely would have got past me. But yeah, up into fifth somehow, even after a glitch on the first lap, starting on one tyres, and we're coming home to take the chequered flag. It's fifth place and ten more points for Pastor Maldonado. This season is going very well for the Venezuelan. Let's see if we can continue. Another great performance from the guy. Monza, yes. Another win for the Brackley-based team. What a car they've got this year. Well, that was a brilliant summary of the race, Crofty. I mean, you should talk that little more often. I don't know what that was all about. But yeah, Hamilton took the win from Raikkonen. I think they had an epic battle at the start with Vettel and Rosberg. But the uh, latter two dropped off. I ended up fit 35 seconds off the lead. So not a bad effort. Rosberg, yeah, about a second or two behind. Grosjean got a couple more points for us. And Verstappen retired on the first lap. I don't really know what happened to him. So looking at the standings, it's a big gap at the front now. 38 points. And I'm into it. Two points behind my rival for this season, Daniel Ricciardo. So the battle will go on. As Grosjean scored a couple more points, we should be consolidating our place in the Constructors' Championship. Fourth place. While Perez has no points, Alonso has no points. Their surprise is right there. Not so much with Ericsson. So... Constructors there, and if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more of these F1 2015 videos, then subscribe to my channel. Hope to catch you in the next video, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.